stop. It's just not safe to be in those areas. So uh, whatever point was trying to be made yesterday, this is the this is the aftermath. All right, Tom, thank you. Well, we did see just smoke fill the sky over West Baltimore yesterday. That CVS store right there was broken into. It was looted. You saw hundreds of people just run in, run back out with stuff. And then not too long after that, it was on fire. And those flames could be seen just billowing over buildings. The smoke was filling the air in downtown Baltimore, very visible. And the damage still very visible this morning, just a couple of blocks over from where Tom is. That's where Megan Gillen is this morning at the scene of that CVS. And now that it's a light, Megan, I'm sure that the, the perspective of that burned out building is just that much more horrifying. The building is horrible. I'm going to show you something a lot more positive, Patrice. You know, when we were watching that CVS on fire yesterday, people were mad. They were angry. They didn't want to see their city this way. And I'll tell you what, there's a group of people out here trying to make sure that the city is not going to be viewed in that light. We've got Maxwell here and we've got Jason. You guys hit the street early this morning. When we got here, this intersection of North Ave and, and Pennsylvania Ave was covered with, with debris, with uh, lotion, with uh, lip, lip gloss from CVS, just, just stuff. You guys came out here. Why? I mean, we, we had to. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night. I mean, saw the news and I mean, the, the city was on fire. I mean, it, it's only one thing we can do, you know, and I mean, if if, 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 if me being out here says something to anybody else, you know, hopefully it's a, it's a good message. You know, we got to get out here. We got we to gotta get our city back. We got to get our streets back. This is our city. You know, I don't, I don't care what happens, the good, the bad, the ugly. This is our city. And we need, we need to stand up and take our city back. How do we do that? We have, everybody, everybody has a neighbor, everybody has a friend, whatever's going on. I mean, say something positive, spread a positive word, get out there, sweep in front of your own block. Pick up, pick up some trash, tell a kid that you see walking down the street, you know, go back in the house if you're about to do something crazy. You know, this is, this is our city. I mean, we have to unite right now. I don't care who you are, what you are. We have to stand together as a people and unite for one cause. I mean, we're all equal citizens under the law. I don't care if it's, we need protection from, from the criminal element, if we need protection from, from unruly cops, if we need protection from the, the mayor's office, if they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing, whatever the case, we all need equal protection under the law. We're all equal citizens here. Maxwell, you were talking about take our, take our streets back, take our city back too. What do you think happened? How do you think we got to this point where you're looking out and, and seeing all this? They are very frustrated here. A lot of things is being said, nothing being done. Everybody want to do a campaign. Nobody's changing anything. Change here, up here in Baltimore. There's two Baltimores. We have an inner city and we have an outer city. Change some things up here. When I go downtown, there's a whole different Baltimore. The people who were, you know, at the CVS, which we'll show you the scene, Patrice, you talked about what it's going to look like in the daylight. Um, not very pretty out here. The people who came and, and looted this CVS and burnt this, this CVS down, why do you think they did this? Are they upset with the, the political things going on right now and the investigation in Freddie Gray, or is this totally separate um, and people taking advantage of the situation? It's many things, many things. Freddie Gray was just something that one of the things that just really turned the fire up. I mean, so many things, so much, so much happened with the police department here. There's no communication with the community, with the police department. I'm not upset with them. All of them not bad cops. You have some good cops. I mean, I've been on both sides of the law. One time I couldn't stand in front of them at work. I used to be running from them. Yeah. Now I'm out here this morning. I mean, like Jason said, we got to take our city back. You know, I'm tired of being the other side. I mean, give something back. And somehow you guys have uh, encouraged a lot more people. At one point, there were, there were actually trucks. You were loading garbage bags into these trucks. How, how are you getting the, this support and, and so many people out here helping you do this today? I mean, we just, we just came out here. I mean, uh, there you, goes another truck. Even the, the city trucks are coming in now. I mean, you, you know, you guys are, are, are reporting the story. I mean, you're, you're, you're reporting the, the, the good stuff. Um, we just came out here and, and, and started working. Um, you know, I guess people saw and, and, and caught on. Everybody wants to help. People don't know how. People, have, people are in their houses, they're scared. People don't know that they can come out. They don't know that it, it is safe to come out and, and reclaim my streets, you know, and, and that, that's what we need. I, I, I'm out here so, so hopefully somebody can look out their window and say, you know what, I need to get out there. You know, it's safe. We, we need to do something. Well, be careful. I know you're heading to Fulton Avenue next. Yeah. All right.
Thank you guys very much for your time this morning and talking with us. As uh, the camera pans down this way, you're actually looking at the, the two cars that were down there. One of them has been towed. The other one just being towed right now. Those are the two charred out vehicles, uh, MDTA uh, cruisers that were torched yesterday and now being towed off the scene. City cruisers again now rolling in here as well. I'm um, helping in this trash cleanup, trying to, to make this area look a little bit better. A, a lot of cleanup still at the CVS pharmacy and really a, a swarm of media. When you look over there, um, of course, we've got local media, but national media. We've got international media over there as well. And uh, to the left of us, of course, uh, a lot of officers who are blocking Pennsylvania Avenue right here, uh, standing guard trying to protect this neighborhood. Patrice, this is how things are looking out here this morning. Back to you. Well, it's good to see, Megan, because that is what it's going to take. I mean, people have to get out there and reclaim their neighborhoods like those guys have, are doing. And hopefully so many more people will see that and get out there themselves. Well, Fox 45 will have continuing coverage of the Freddie Gray investigation as it develops. More still to come on that this week for sure. Go to our website, foxbaltimore.com, to learn about the case from the very beginning. And follow us on Twitter at Fox Baltimore for breaking news updates. Well, coming up, we have a high of 67 degrees today, but the wind comes with it. Just